the spring of 2009, I found an opportunity for my new shooting company to obtain the exclusive sporting rights for what is one of the most exquisite properties for driven shooting that I've ever seen. When I first saw Lacey Trooper Creek, with its dramatic views, deep canyons and farmable land, I was convinced that it was the perfect place to start my quest to bring traditional English style driven shooting to the American West. After another successful season in the fall of 2009, we are convinced that we found the right setting and have the right team in place. Together with my wife Jen and our experienced keeper, we share a passion and a vision to make Lacey Tripper Creek into one of the best shooting estates in America. For those of you who have never experienced a driven shoot, or to bring back fond memories for those who have, I like to share a typical day of driven shooting at Lacey Tripper Creek. The day begins well before the sun clears the Big Hole Mountains to the east of the ranch. There is much work to do before the first shot is fired. Breakfast is served as the sun streams into the dining room at the lodge. The eight guest shooters, referred to as guns, prepare themselves for a day of shooting. During breakfast, Eat Gun's loader fills his speed bag with shells and checks equipment for the accelerating action that is sure to follow. After breakfast, we go through the safety with all guns, introduce the loaders and then draw pegs. A peg is the marker for the spot each gun will occupy during a particular drive. Over the course of the day's six different drives, pegs are rotated ensuring that each gun shoots from a different position in the gun line during each drive. While all this is going on, the beaters are already hard at work. The gamekeeper directs his team of beaters. What makes the ranch such an ideal property for driven shooting is the large plateaus planted with cover crops such as sunflower, wheat and corn. The drive begins by pushing the birds with a line of beaters through the cover crop and effectively concentrating the birds as they approach the flushing point at the edge of the canyon above the line of guns. Meanwhile, the guns and loaders have boarded the rancher's custom gun wagon and are making the short five minute trip to the pegs for the first drive. Anticipation builds as the eight guns are positioned on the pegs. Pegs are 30 to 50 yards apart depending on the particular drive. At this point, all is ready for the drive to begin. Tradition calls for the use of break open guns for the shooter to use either one or two guns with a loader assistant in loading or double gunning for nearly continuous shooting if necessary. A horn is blown to signal the start of the first drive. The gamekeeper and his team of beaters begin to pinch in the birds as a flushing point approaches and soon the birds begin to fly in great numbers but steadily over the course of the drive. With this combination of the terrain, the beaters, the presentation of the birds and the skill of the shooter, the result is an unparalleled experience. Drives can last anywhere from 25 to 50 minutes 
and shooters will fire anywhere from 25 to 150 shell each, depending on the position on the gun line and where the birds are breaking. The success of each shooter is determined by his own skill, the cooperation of the loader and the particular presentation of the bird on each drive. Safety standards are strongly enforced to ensure the safety of everyone involved. Guns are required to shoot only birds that are high enough to ensure the safety of the beaters and their fellow shooters. What truly defines driven shooting from other types of game shooting is the finest quality and presentation of pheasant and partridges. A second horn sounds to end the drive and now the dog handlers swing into action. The job of picker-uppers, as they're called in England, is to find and retrieve all the birds that are shot. This process requires the skill and dedication of a team of trained dogs and handlers. The shot birds are loaded on the game cart while the guns and loaders pack up, gather and share stories while waiting to be transported to the next drive. The beaters reassemble and are positioned to begin blanking in the next drive. After the first two drives in the morning, tradition calls for elevencies a short break during which warm drinks and snacks are served. After the four morning drives, lunch is served at the main lodge overlooking the property. After lunch, we are going back out to finish off the day with the final two drives. One of the joys of true authentic driven shooting is that no two drives are the same different locations, weather, wind, the directions of the light and the whims of the birds make each tribe a new challenge. Lacey Triple Creek offers a variety of habitats and shooting windows. As the day progresses shooters begin to understand why this sport has taken on such an enormous proportion in the UK and around the world. Many American shooters have adopted traditional English dress but that choice is an entirely up to preference of each guest. However the tradition of the highest level of sportsman's like conduct towards the game and your fellow shooters is strongly encouraged. The estate at Lacey Triple Creek is 2,200 acres of wide open vistas and five dramatic canyons which vary in depth giving every level of shooter the excitement and challenge in shooting as well as the enjoyment of a great day in the field. During your visit you will be hosted by our staff and private chef the lodge accommodates eight guns or eight couples and is located on the top of a ridge with a 360 degree panoramic view of the entire estate and embodies the expression Big Sky Country. You simply must experience a traditional pheasant and partridge shoot to truly understand why it's become an obsession for so many shooters around the globe. Blixton Company now makes it possible for an American shooter to have this experience not only in Europe but on our own continent.